Well, I'm at UCM. With me is Helen Fox. Of course, it's the art exhibition of the year. Helen, we come here every year. It's incredible. And end of, end of the whole year, students put on their, their productions and their artwork. Yes. How's it going? End of year exhibition. And yeah. we're another year, um, another great group of students. And this is the culmination of all of their year's works, all the things they've been taught over the year. They put into practice for their final major exhibition. And, um, and this is it. Okay. So there's a whole range of things. There's um, yeah, fashion. There's installations, there's photography, animation, films, games design, there's all sorts of things. What is the brief or is there no brief in that sense? Um, the students all have to write their own brief. So this is a really challenging thing for the students because um, you know, normally we set projects all the way through school. You'll set projects for your GCSE and your A-level. You have a theme to work towards. So when you're suddenly kind of, um, you have to come up with your own, yeah. And that's what you've always wanted to do, is do your own work. It can be quite daunting for the students. So they have to write their own brief, set their own parameters for the project, decide what kind of materials they're going to work in. Um, they have to do some work on some research, you know, who's going to be their inspiration. So they have to do background work before they start. OK, well, let's pick out a couple. And Sorry, a couple, but the, <laughs> the wheels. Explain that one. Um, Eve, yeah, Eve started off her project. Um, she wants to make a video about um, wheelchair basketball. And the theme that she picked for hers was movement. And so the work then became about actually using the wheelchair to make she's in the wheelchair. And that's she is in the wheelchair. Right. And um, so, yeah, she, she's explored lots of different um, media. So she has but still worked in video. She's done um, this mixed media kind of spin paintings, uh, influenced by Damien Hirst. <laughs> and um, as you can see, that you know, she's ended up with um, making those into kind of sculptures. It's quite hypnotic sculptures. when it's going round. It around, really is, it? yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, we're going to a dark room. I thought that was quite interesting. What was behind there? Tell us. Um, yes, um, Eben... Um, is a first year extended diploma student and he wanted to build a big cube and install um, kind of lots of things about um, how the climate is changing and how we're uh, uh, losing our grip on things I guess. And, and, okay, yeah. well, it takes you away doesn't it? It's, 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 it's flashy and yeah. it's, it's light and everything. And one more, very interesting, as sort of what could happen to the front of the Summerland site? Yes, um, Abigail picked a theme for Saad, so she chose, um, she wanted to look at architecture and she was looking at geometric shapes, so she um, selected the Summerland site um, to develop her piece of work for, and um, she's produced a really stunning interesting. Um, design and building. Maybe on. they could look at that, that would be yeah. cool. <laughs> um, when's it on, how long? And, you know. um, it's open to the public on Friday. Um, 10 till 4 on a Friday and then 10 till 6 next Monday to Thursday. So it's a week really to sit. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we've also got our uh, graduate students showing as well at the Villa Marina. So there's four students who are, are showing their work upstairs at the Villa until the 22nd of June. And that's an exhibition called Dala. All right. <laughs> Dala. Hold that up there. Yep. <laughs> okay. I, I know you want to thank your sponsors as well, don't you, to get involved in all this I stuff? I do, yeah. Um, we're really lucky that we've had um, the Archibald Knox Awards. were started by Liam O'Neill quite a few years ago now. And um, that's representing the Archibald Knox Society. And we have a new sponsor for those this year, the Engine House in Castletown. And they run um, a really interesting um, uh, setup where they they have... Um, Startups, encouraging startups, and there's different ways you can hire a desk or hire a space, and it's a really interesting space. There's two artists as well who are in residence down there, um, and so that's a really uh, good venture. And so they're sponsoring the Archibald Dots Awards, and they've then got the KPMG Fail Awards, which was started last year, and there's four awards of five hundred pounds each to help students who are finishing their course to make that development to either employment or degree. Okay. Well, I wish all the students really well, and it's all such interesting stuff and well worth coming along. Have a look. Yes, it is. Please come. <laughs>